Hello and welcome back to 3 Plus 1 where we talk about people, politics, and pop culture. And today we're talking about Congressional Representative Jasmine Crockett and Congressional Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene. And really we're talking about how the media selected certain clips to give you a certain portrayal but omitted the full story. And it's a full story that I think really makes a big difference. Now, I'm certain that most of you already know Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, who represents Georgia's 14th Congressional District, is in the uh, northwest corner of Georgia and kind of comes all the way down right above what we consider to be Metro Atlanta. This district starts in the mountains uh, in the t at the Tennessee border. Uh, in terms of pop culture, there was a Cartoon Network show called The Squid Billies from back in the day that kind of gives you an idea of what stereotypes could be put into place regarding Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene's constituents. Now, Jasmine Crockett, you may also know her, is a congressional representative from Texas representing the state's 30th congressional district. And it comprises mostly of South Dallas, Dallas Lovefield, uh, and a little bit of Tarrant County. Representative Crockett is a liberal Democrat and Marjorie Taylor Greene is a far right conservative. Is, and as we all know, it is not uncommon for Marjorie Taylor Greene to spar with members on the left. Uh, but what we witnessed on last week was absolutely something that I would have never wanted to see in the hallowed halls of Congress. Now, many people took what Representative Crockett said and they've shared it multiple times, about one minute worth of footage. But what people aren't doing is give you the lead up to what prompted Congresswoman Crockett to say what she said. And I have the full scene here uh, for you to look at. Take a look at this. We are employing uh, Judge Mershon's daughter. Please tell me what that has to do with Mary Garland. Is she a porn star? Oh, Goldman, that's right. He's advising, okay. Is it rising? Who? What? Do you do you know what we're here for? You know we're here about. Uh, just a, a, I don't think point you point know what you're president. here for. Well, you the one talking about. I guess I, I think your fake eyelashes are messing up. No, what you're ain't leaving. nothing. Hold on, hold on. Listen. Order, Mr. Chairman. That's beneath would even you order, 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 order of your committee. Order. I do have a point of order, and I would like uh, to move to to take down Miss Green's words. That is absolutely unacceptable. How dare you uh, 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 attack the physical meeting appearance of another spend. person? Are your Move feelings hurt? her words down. Aww. Oh, oh, girl, baby girl. Oh, really? Don't even play, baby girl. Gonna, I don't think we are going to move, and we're going to take your words down. Thank I you second that motion. So, so who will have to fail? Okay. Miss Green agrees to strike her words. I believe she Perry just apologized. No, no, no. She Perry. just apologized. Okay, hold on. Then after Mr. Perry's going to be recognized, then Ms. Green. I'm not has apologizing. Well, seconds. then okay, you're reserve not striking the right to your object. words. I am Mr. not Perry. apologizing. Now, let's go. Come on, guys. Why don't you debate me? Uh, Mr. Chairman, um, the, the, the minority. I think it's pretty self-evident. You're not. Yeah, you're, you're not. Out of order. You don't have enough you're intelligence. Out of order. Chair recognizes Mr. Perry. Okay, move to strike I'd the. Like to strike I move to strike the ladies' words. I move to strike the ladies' words again. That's two requests to strike. That's two requests to strike. That's two requests to strike. Oh, they cannot take the okay, words. There's another motion to strike her words again. Please All right, okay, get your members under here's control. Here's the correct, the correct apology, Miss Green. Do you ask unanimous? Do you agree to unanimous consent to strike your words? I repeat again for the second time. Yes, I'll strike right. my words, That's but I'm not right. apologizing. Without objection. Without not objection. Not apologizing. Mr. Mr. Chair, point of order. Who's, who's it's me, Miss Crockett. I'm just curious, just to better understand your ruling. If someone on this committee then starts talking about somebody's bleach blonde, bad built, butch body, that would not be engaging in personalities, correct? A uh, uh, what now, Chairman? I'm I make a I make a motion to strike those I, words. I don't, I don't think that's Hold a on. part I'm of it. Trying to find clarification on what qualifies. Chairman, I, I motion to I strike no those words. I have no idea what you just said. We're not gonna. We're not gonna do this. Look, you guys earlier literally just. Oh, you just you just, just voted to do it. it first, so you just voted to do it. Order, order. I'm trying to get okay. clarification. Look at, calm down. 
calm no, down. No, 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 no. Because this I is what y'all right. do. So I'm trying hey, to get Miss Miss Crockett, Crockett, you're, you're not recognized. Miss like, Crockett. I can't hear you with your and yelling. You don't want calm me to down. Be, no. Can you please calm don't down? Don't tell me to calm down. Calm down. Because y'all talk calm noise. Down. And then you can't take it. Because if I come and talk shit about her, y'all don't have a problem. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. All right. Chair. Chair. Okay. Order. Chair now recognized. It's really interesting how people on the right have taken this and they are trying to portray Congresswoman Crockett as though she is unprofessional, as though she did something that was so egregious and so disrespectful to Marjorie Taylor Greene by calling her as she sees her. When in reality, Congresswoman Greene is notorious for using her seat and bullying and saying extremely inappropriate things to excite and inflame her far right base of supporters. Congresswoman Green has built an entire brand around being a bully, around being an antagonist, and around being exceptionally unagreeable. Hi, excuse me, what's your plan to end gun violence? I, I support the Second Amendment. Whoop, hang on. Do you support murdering children? No, do you support murdering children? No, I'm no, a school no. shooting survivor, no, really. actually. Oh, really? Well, you know what? You like That's to terrible. Them. Great. Um, I support the Second Amendment and is bad guys gonna, being locked up. Is this going to be another thoughts and prayers again? Really? You won't support the assault weapons ban? No, I don't. Why not? And all these people telling you that the most dangerous terrorists or domestic terrorists in America are white supremacists, obviously. But here's what you need to know. I think some of the most dangerous people in America are trans terrorists. Many would say that her rhetoric borders on being racist, homophobic, transphobic, and anti-Semitic. Many would say that it is all four of the things that I just called out, yet she can say what she wants to say and rarely is she held account to account. Rarely does the media even mention the egregious things that she says, but as soon as someone claps back and gives her a taste of her own medicine, they're unprofessional. It makes headlines. They are, they're vilified in the media. It's very similar to how just last week, Vice President Harris said the F word while giving a speech in regards to how Asian American Pacific Islanders have broken down doors. She said they have broken down effing doors and that became the vice president uses an expletive where when Donald Trump was president of the United States, he used expletives on a regular basis. It was common during the 2020 campaign season for Donald Trump to use foul language, vulgar vulgarities flying left and right and barely nary ever did it become headline making news because it has become normalized. And it's become normalized not because the American people have normalized it. It has become normalized because mainstream media has made it. So we have to hold the media to account for what they're doing and call out their unfair bias and prejudicial treatment of our black leaders. With that being said, I hope that you will be well, be blessed, and whatever you do, keep pushing. I'll see you soon.